The 25th edition of the IBJJF World Championships is just around the corner. The most exciting gi event of every year, Worlds is an opportunity for athletes to establish their dominance and build on their legacies. But it's also a chance for newcomers to make their name and claim a spot in history. Today we're looking at five of the biggest breakthrough moments in the history of the World Championships. Mateus Gabriel submits Marcio Andre in the featherweight final. Mateus Gabriel seemed destined for greatness even in his colored belt days, winning Worlds at 2018 as a brown belt. He showed the capabilities of a future world champ at PANS in 2019, narrowly defeating the reigning featherweight king, Shane Mill Hill Taylor. Mateus truly defined himself as a star in his 2019 world's final against Marcio Andre. Mateus built a small but tactical lead halfway through his first ever black belt world's final, but Andre was working hard to keep himself in the game. As Marcio spun underneath Mateus to try and take his back, Mateus stepped over into his now famous black hole position where he finished an armbar with less than two minutes on the clock. Tammy Musumeci takes Michelle Nicolini's back in the final. Tammy Musumeci had her work cut out for her in her first ever black belt final in 2014, taking on seven-time world champion Michelle Nicolini. Musumeci earned an early advantage, taking Nicolini's back and building a two-point lead. Musumeci stayed ahead until she got caught in a deep omoplata. Nicolini broke Musumeci's arm, but Tammy stayed in the match. With less than 30 seconds remaining in the match, Nicolini capitalized on her injured opponent and scored eight points. Tammy lost the match, but proved that she deserved a spot at the top. Gabriel Larges, Nibar's Claudio Calasanz. Claudio Calasanz was the reigning world champion, the reigning ADCC champion, and the reigning world pro silver medalist. He was the clear cut favorite to take middleweight gold in 2016. In comes rookie black belt Gabriel Arjas to spoil things for the champ. Arjas took out Manuel Hibamar and Celso Vinicius before catching both Calasanz and Marco Stinoco with knee bars. Arjas closed out with his Gracie Baja teammate Otabu Asuza in the final, but would go on to win titles in 2017 and in 2019. Nicholas Mergali bounces back to take out Leandro Lowe. Leandro Lowe seemed to have Nicholas Mergali's number in 2017, defeating the Alliance rookie in back-to-back -back matches at Pans. But Mergali was driven to prove himself a world champion, and who better to take it from than Leandro Lowe? Mergali was down on advantages until three minutes remained in their finals match, when he landed a deep daily heave sweep and protected his lead from close guard. With the win, Mergali snapped Lowe's five-year world title streak and captured his first of two world's crowns. Buchecha takes the absolute reins from Hadolfo Vieira. Still considered one of the best matches in world's history, Marcus Buchecha Almeida versus Hadolfo Vieira was an instant classic which started the biggest world's title haul in history. In 2011, Hadolfo seemed to be picking up where Roger Gracie left off, taking double gold after Roger stepped aside. But when Buchecha met and overthrew Hadolfo in the early rounds of the 2012 Absolute Division, he put his stamp of dominance on the Absolute Division, as well as the Ultra Heavyweight Division, for the next seven years. The 2021 IBJJF World is just around the corner, December 9th through 12th. The new guard will all be looking for their own breakout moments. Watch it all here, live on Flow Grappling.